were you not working with Bodder at the time with a lot of the bombing? You were in Bodder, weren't you? Uh, yes, but just I, I was doing more work for STV, but I phoned them on the morning to say, could I help them out with stuff? And the head of news at the time said everybody was wanting facilities. Uh, you see, because the whole of the world's media descended on Lockerbie, obviously, and therefore they want to know where can we edit this stuff. Nowadays it would be different because you have your devices, you would be using the internet, so you could have done everything from the fields. Mm. But did you actually, have you actually been to the site of where it happened, like the memorial? Have yes. you been there? Yes. I have friends that live round there, and one of them phoned to say, I can't, I can't go out. There are bodies everywhere. And I was actually watching the tell. I was going round. I'll tell you what I was going to do. I was going on to a Christmas party on the BBC. And I was waiting for a friend to come round because he was, we were both going together. And he came round to my flat in Glasgow. And I said, do we need to go? He went, no, we've got time, son. He says, we don't need to be out till about nine. So I said, oh, well, we'll have a wee cup of tea. So I made the tea and we sat down with, my mother was in and one of our, uh, one of our relatives was in as well. And uh, we, we were having a great chat. And uh, then a news flash came up on the telly and it, it said what had happened. And my friend, who's a journalist, turned to me and he said, that's a bomb. I said, do you think so? He went, oh yes, almost certainly. So he just kind of, so I was with something of an expert right there and then. Then he said, we'd better get round to the BBC because this will have changed things. And sure enough, the producer, a very well-known producer, came round and he said, the party's off, guys, obviously. And we stayed in the BBC and watched everything coming in. So was this the BBC, the BBC down at where the Botanic Gardens is? Yes, Queen Margaret right. Drive. Queen Margaret Drive. Yeah, and we were going round to a Christmas party at the time. The Christmas party on uh -huh. air. We were going on air. Mm. And, uh, and the whole thing, obviously, and then just the newsrooms, everything. Wow. Journalists started arriving, uh, you know, and, and I, so I actually... Uh, just by sheer chance was able to um, see the whole thing unfold. Right. So when was the last time you read the news then? When did you find these news? Uh, 1989. Would you ever do that again? Yes. I'd actually, like to, I'd actually like to try. I'd need to take the beard off probably, but just one night on the telly just to see, uh, to ensure I've still got it, and to see how the public reacted. Would you take the bonnet off? Oh, you'd have to take the bonnet off. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd be, be short back and side, Scotty? Yes, I, oh, I, well, we've got a wee short back and sides, and a wee short top as well. You know, that's what you should do, is get a job on, get, get, go, go and sit on the sofa and Fill it in, fill up and put something. Holly, go sit on the sofa. Oh. You, you soon shake them up. <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, lovely talking to you. I better dash because people are going bananas here. <laughs> Scotty, I'll talk to you so you take care, all right? I, I think you do. Lovely to hear you. Sarala. Right.